An extremely strong new pattern is starting to form in the Dogecoin chart, and that comes as we are seeing cryptocurrency as a whole not have a very good last 24 hours, going down approximately 3.47% as a whole. Bitcoin down 3%, Ethereum down 3% as well, Dogecoin a little bit less at 2.5%, but still, for the most part, pretty much every single top crypto fell between 2 and 5% over the last 24 hours, even though a lot of them are up this week. Dogecoin up more than any other top crypto of this week at 22% except for Binance coin, which is up 23%. So those are the two biggest performers of the week. As we're also seeing some very, very, very positive news coming in, we've been pushing extremely hard for this. And I will also explain and one second here, what happened with the previous video and kind of the thinking behind that. But Texas governor signs law for creating legal framework for crypto investments. We've been pushing so hard for this on Twitter. We've been working with other top crypto influencers, including BitBoy and other influencers. BitBoy even flying to Texas to help with this. All of us teaming up to try to fix the laws in Texas. And New York is now going to be next. We can have impacts like this as a community as we continue to use our voice and make our voices heard Politicians watch this show. Politicians watch other shows. So make sure you're pressing like on this video and other videos like it so they get out to more people, including the politicians who we want to be on our side when it comes to the laws or else they'll get voted out if not. But they're most likely just going to be on our side because it makes sense. It's the smart thing to do. If you, you want to be on our side. If you're not on our side, why? Then, then you're just not only you're losing votes, potentially getting put out of office, but it's also just not the smart thing for the people moving forward. Cryptocurrency helps. It makes life better. It's a better system than the current one we have. So if they're trying to stop that, then they are definitely doing a disservice to the people. And the entire point of the government is that it's supposed to represent and do positive things. That's the whole point. But if that's not happening, then we are out of luck. And so what happened with the last video, I'll go ahead and pull up, I'll go ahead and pull up a tweet that I made. So I put out a tweet, should I take the video down? And 47% of people said, yes, I was going to just leave it up. But when I saw that large percentage of people saying yes, I started thinking about it and I realized, is it really worth it to make that many people worried, to make that many people upset potentially over a dumb video? And I did spend a ton of time working on it. I put a lot of energy and effort into that. And I made some really good points in there. But at the same time, I don't want to make people upset. I don't want to make anyone unhappy. And so we just decided, you know what? I'll just come on and do my live. I'll just do go. We'll just proceed like normal. And I'll probably make another video where I actually just go through and debunk the points point by point instead of being so, so out there with that one. Hopefully you enjoyed it though. I mean, it was pretty entertaining. I had a lot of fun filming it. I think it was a pretty dang good video. As we see a chat coming in, let's go. Celebrating from Austin. Coming in from Mustafa. Mustafa been supporting the channel for a while here on the lives. So I appreciate that. And shout out to you. Shout out to Texas. You guys deserve this. And now New York is next. Don't worry. We're still coming for you, New York. And we're coming for everywhere in the world where it's no longer legal or where they're trying to go against cryptocurrency. There is some positive news though coming out in regards to that. China not being so keen on crypto in some ways, but then behind the scenes being working on it. Very confusing there. It's less confusing when it comes to El Salvador. In fact, way less confusing. They're embracing it more than pretty much any other country at this current point in time in South America, which is fantastic to see. El Salvador's president, is, is planning to make Bitcoin legal tender in his country, meaning it'll be way easier to send and receive from other countries. Also, potentially, you're going to be able to pay your taxes in El Salvador. Hopefully, that'll start a chain effect of more countries starting to do it. We are so early. Less than 1% of people in the entire world own cryptocurrency. That's a staggering number there. Less than 15%, 15, 15 15% in the US. 15 and 50 kind of sound the same. So I want to make sure to announce, pronunciate that, announce that, whatever the right word is. <laughs> but... Yeah, that's that's basically the way the way it works with that. I mean, we shouldn't be too worried. But here is really where it starts to get interesting. This is the chart of big of Dogecoin right now and what it's doing. It's remarkable. I've never seen a pattern form to this level before. As we see, look at that. It's literally like a, a straight line going up. If you look at the bottom, I'll take a screenshot and show you. If you look at the bottom of each of the red candles, it looks like a straight line. And this is one of the most bullish indications you can possibly see. The only thing I think that could stop a big Dogecoin spike from happening not too long from now would be some really bad news coming out or Elon perhaps doing something in one way or the other. A lot of his tweets recently kind of lead us to believe, well, what's he going to do next? It's a little bit concerning in some ways, but I don't think he would ever leave the Dogecoin community behind. I think he will continue to have the back of the Dogecoin community. He's also going to help cryptocurrency as a whole, but he's not going to give up on Doge. It means 
means too much to him and the people involved in the Dogecoin community mean too much to him as well. So I don't think there's really much of a high chance of him doing that, but nonetheless, you can't predict him 100%, so it's still just a little bit concerning and we're gonna continue to cover that. But that's one of the reasons why notifications is so important because if Elon Musk makes a big negative move for Dogecoin, I will come on as fast as possible and let you guys know exactly what's happening with that. Same with the positive thing, which we've already done many times in the past. He hasn't done a negative thing yet. If he did though, you're gonna wanna know as fast as possible. And so that's why notifications are so important. I'll come on quickly. Hey John, talking smack about you on his live right now, said you aren't a man of your word from Crypto Jerry. Oh, that's okay, he, 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 there's nothing wrong with that. Um, Monty's are a mission, I hear. Doge Theorem effect from Crypto Tank Girl. Uh, and uh, yeah, but yeah, I mean, seriously, it's, it's okay. The, the truth is, if anyone's ever hating on you, that's free publicity for you. It's honestly one of the best things you can possibly hope for is to have people using their name and hating on you. So if it ever happens, try to feed into it. Don't stop it. You want that. That's the best thing possible. It helps Dogecoin, helps the community more. The more people are talking about it, negative or not, that's the way, it, the, the effect of people hearing something is that you hear it, even if it's negative, and then in about a month, you forget the negative part and you just remember the positive part about it. That's why you see those Skittles commercials that are so gross, where they have the Skittles all over the people. Because no one actually remembers the gross part of it. You just remember Skittles. It, they, their goal is to get inside your memory there. And so that's kind of the way you, you should think about it. If you're an influencer, don't worry about people saying negative stuff. That's the most positive thing you can possibly have happen to you. But thank you for letting me know though. Welcome to Silver as well from Via where, and I believe probably what he was referring to is I, the, I was basically, I said, the real anonymous sent me a message. And uh, technically speaking, that was a kind of a stretch. Where I was going with that is that I mean, technically anyone can say they're anonymous because it's decentralized. So that was kind of my thinking behind that. But yeah, I guess you're right. If at the, at the end of the day, maybe we should have just held back a little bit longer on that and waited to think more about it. You're, pro you're probably right about that. But welcome to Silver. Also, the like ratio on that video was so unbelievably high in the comments. So much love in the comments. People saying nice things. A ton of likes. One of the highest like ratios of any videos I've ever posted. A lot of people sharing it and saying nice things on Twitter as well. So most of the energy around it was extremely positive, but there was some negative energy as well. And that just comes par for the course. That's the way it is. But you know what? We'll, we'll, still, we'll, still, we'll still talk about that more in the future because the truth is that video, I mean, it said a lot of the negative things about Elon Musk that just simply aren't true. And that's kind of where the problem was. I think maybe even the person who made the video maybe didn't even know some of those things weren't true. So the more we can educate people out there, the better it's going to be overall because we have to have our man Elon's back. He has ours, we should have his as well. Haters gonna hate, but Monty's are here to shine and are all over the building everywhere, leaving people baffled. Interesting, Crypto Tank Girl, you are in Canada, correct? Is that what you're referring to? Interesting. I'm not sure exactly what's happening with that, but I hope all is well. Dogecoin right now at a price of 37 cents, down at 2.46. Look at that, it went up a tiny bit. That's fantastic. A tiny, tiny little fraction of a bit. 790 million is the value transacted in the last 24 hours, and the average transaction fee is 92 cents. So it's still very competitive with Ethereum, still very competitive with the top cryptos, but at the same time, we are seeing the amount of transactions go down a little bit from their all-time high, which was around seven times higher than what we're seeing right now. And in terms of one 24-hour period, still though, up 7,000% year to date. And someone came out with an article. Guess who it was? That's right, The Motley Fool, a positive article about cryptocurrency. Someone pinched me. What the heck are we doing here? What world are we in? This crypto has turned 10,000 into 675,000 or 670,000 in five years, coming in from... Lyle Daly, and that's the reason we see so many different things coming in from different publications. They have different writers who all have different opinions and different thoughts on things. But I did think this was a little bit silly though because they're singling out Bitcoin in this for going from 10,000 to 670,000, but Dogecoin has gone from 10,000 into millions and it's also one of the top cryptos. So I do think it's a little weird that they're specifically singling that out if they're just trying to use the numbers over the last five years. If they were to do say the last 10 years, I think it would make more sense to pick Bitcoin. But the last five years, I don't know what the heck they're trying to do there or what they're trying to accomplish. Self-driving cars could be decades away, no matter what Elon Musk says. Now, this is the first roast of the day because what the heck kind of, I mean, so, some people are just getting ridiculous. 
I'm going to continue to have Elon Musk's back when he deserves it, and we do call him out. We know that. If he does something bad, we'll say so. We're not going to be only loyal to Elon Musk all the time, but we will defend him because I think he deserves it. I think he's earned that, and a lot of the hate towards him is unjustified and personal, in my opinion, which is not what we want to see. So, Elon, don't worry. We got your back, and uh, we're not going to back down for the most part <laughs> unless unless 47% of people tell us to back down. <laughs> then maybe we'll back down, but uh, only, for, only temporarily. We'll, we'll still say something. Self-driving cars could be decades away. Well, that's kind of funny because there's literally videos on YouTube right now of people using them. I've driven in one before. There's also people who have gotten pulled over by the cops for driving while sitting in the back seat or putting their feet out the window or doing silly things like that. So I don't know what the heck this article thinks it's doing. I guess maybe it's talking about overall just having a full network of self-driving cars to the point where we really don't have to worry about it. But in some cities that already exist. So I don't think this article really knows what they're talking about at all. And they are, of course, deserving of the roast. The person who wrote this is Christopher Mims. But maybe he should go and play in Sims because he he's definitely not in a place of reality at this current point in time. And even that was going after Elon Musk. Once again, more people trying to take down Elon. And people people are upset to some degree at Elon right now because of some of his Bitcoin posts. And you know what? That's understandable. I do think Elon Musk should be talking less bad things about Bitcoin overall. He shouldn't have posted, in my opinion, the breakup thing with Bitcoin. I think he shouldn't have done that. But at the same time, it's not that big of a deal. It's a very, very small oopsie. And uh, I don't think he regrets it at all. I think he's, he's perfectly happy with his decision. It's just an oopsie from an outside perspective. Because the truth is, without Elon Musk, there would be no major companies that started accepting Bitcoin or are still continuing to hold it. Without him, cryptocurrency would, would have probably already fallen back down to a much lower level than it was. We are, we are comparing cryptocurrency, Dogecoin, especially Bitcoin, at around that $33,000 mark when the Tesla announcement was made, going up to around 60, 65000 at its very, very peak. Going up all the way that high. And so when you start to think about that, you realize, okay, well, yeah, it went up and it came back down some. But what if had Elon Musk not ever made that Tesla announcement, perhaps Bitcoin would have fallen down to 15000 or 10000 again. So Elon Musk may have saved Bitcoin and cryptocurrency even more than people realize. And yet still, at the Bitcoin convention, he was getting some hate about it. How in the world are you going to turn your back on someone who just did that? It doesn't really make a lot of sense, in my opinion. I don't think that's smart. I don't think that is the way to go. You shouldn't be doing that. And the fact that you are kind of shows a lot about your character shows a lot about who you are. Dogecoin right now, bolstered by Coinbase addition as Elon Musk tweets continue. And this is another point of contention. Unfortunately, a few negative things to talk about in the live tonight. How Coinbase decided to do the same day release of the Dogecoin thing really kind of hurt its ability to spike as big as it normally could from something like that. So I was a little disappointed in that. But at the same time, the energy has not left from that. There are still a lot of people who are going to be buying Doge moving forward on Coinbase. It's one of the only cryptos at the top. It is the only crypto at the top that has not experienced a major spike from being added on Coinbase in the top seven at least. And so because of that, we know it's likely going to continue to have a bit of an impact on it and will probably cause Dogecoin to see bigger gains in the future during its next spikes than a lot of the other cryptos at the top who've already received a lot of those gains and already experienced that. So it's exciting to think about as we're also seeing China reconsiders its central role in Bitcoin mining. And this is something that is also, I mean, come on, Matt. So many negative stories. I don't know what to do. We, we have to talk. I mean, the positive one is just looking at the Dogecoin chart. But besides that, there are a lot of negative things to talk about, unfortunately. And we're, of course, going to because having a lack of information is the worst thing possible. Make sure, by the way, you are continuing to engage so likes comments and all that stuff it does help the community i guess this video specifically maybe less so because there's a lot of negative but especially on the positive ones and maybe even probably on this one too why did you take down your anonymous video so the reason why is because 47 percent of people said they were worried about it and i don't want to make people you know have a hard time sleeping at night i don't want to make people upset even if it's just a percentage of people that's a heck of a lot of people we have such a big community now it's one of the biggest communities on the internet so making people upset or worried for absolutely no reason from a video even though a lot of time went into it i don't think that's worth it so Unfortunately, we, we just took it down just to, 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 to kind of, I guess you could say to be safe, but really we weren't that worried overall. It, it was more just to kind, of, to kind of ease people's minds, I guess, because it's not worth it. But, but yeah, that's, that's, a good, that's a good question though. You're right. We, we, maybe, maybe I'll probably end up making a, another video kind of covering that stuff, but just maybe a little bit more debunk style rather than kind of <laughs> parody style because the parody was very, very, very direct. So I, I understand. I do get it. And that, that also comes, so 
The other thing to think about too with China and Bitcoin mining is that a lot of the original Bitcoin mining started in China. And so because of that, a lot of the mining pools are based there, which means that a lot of the cryptocurrency mining we see happening says it's coming from China, even if it's someone from a random place in the world who just claims to be part of a Chinese mining pool or becomes part of one. So that really is misleading way less of the mining. It's not really, I don't think as much as 50, more than 50% that happens in China. I think it's significantly less than that, but we'll never really know for sure. It could be more than 50%. It's impossible to know, but that's one of the benefits of it. If you, if you could know, then it would be way less secure as a system. I don't, I don't have AMC, but I don't plan on buying. Interesting. AMC all the way. And AMC, we're going to continue to watch it on Monday. It's going to be fun to see what happens with that. I do hope it goes up, but there's no guarantees it will, unfortunately, because right now it's toward the very, very, very top of where GameStop stock was at its very peak with the most energy. So with GME stock, and you compare that to AMC, it doesn't necessarily have, I think, a super high chance of going up, but we're still going to, of course, root for it. And it is a chance. There's always that possibility that the short squeeze could be even more successful than planned. If it happens, of course, we'll cover it. And we'll cover it very, very, very gleefully because that would be a lot of fun. Let's go and pull up Elon Musk's Twitter, though. Yeah, well, what is he saying? What is he saying? Oh, oh, wait, no, no tweets in the last 24 hours except for about SpaceX, unfortunately. So there we go. Not too much. He did tweet, don't don't take out what you hate, save what you love. And I commented under this, we, we love you, Elon. We do we do love Elon. We're gonna we're gonna continue to let him know that. But anyway, I'm Matt Wass. This is Fast End, and I will see you in the next video. Whew.